Slihote prayer leaf discovered in the famous Mogao Caves of Dunhuang, Gansu, China in 1908 by Paul Pelliot. Slihote are Jewish penitential poems and prayers, especially those said in the period leading up to the High Holidays, and on fast days. The thirteen attributes of mercy are a central theme throughout these prayers. In the Sephardic tradition, recital of Slihot in preparation for the High Holidays begins on the second day of the Hebrew month of Elul. In the Ashkenazic tradition, it begins on the Saturday night before Rosh Hashanah. If, however, the first day of Rosh Hashanah falls on Monday or Tuesday, Slihot are said beginning the Saturday night prior to ensure that Slihot are recited at least four times. This may be because originally the pious would fast for ten days during the season of repentance, and four days before Rosh Hashanah were added to compensate for the four of the ten days of repentance on which fasting is forbidden, the two days of Rosh Hashanah, Shabbat Shuvah, and the day preceding Yom Kippur, and, while the fasts have since been abandoned, the slihot that accompanied them have been retained. Alternatively, the Rosh Hashanah liturgy includes the biblical phrase, you shall observe a burnt offering, and like an offering which needs to be scrutinized for defects for four days. So two four days of self-searching are needed before the day of judgment. In the Italian rite, Slihot always begin on a Monday or Thursday shortly before Rosh Hashanah. If Rosh Hashanah falls on Monday, they begin the previous Monday. If Rosh Hashanah falls on a Tuesday, they begin on the Monday eight days before. If Rosh Hashanah falls on Thursday, they begin the previous Thursday. If Rosh Hashanah falls on Shabbat, they begin the Monday of that week. Slihot refers to both the poetic piyutim that compose the service as well as to the service itself. In most modern Sephardic communities, Slihot services are identical each day. However, some North African communities still recite different Slihot on Mondays, Thursdays, and Shabbat, following the order in Sifte Renano, while keeping the standard order on days without Torah reading. In the Eastern Ashkenazic tradition, although the text and length of specific prayers varies from day to day, the overall format remains the same and is prefaced by Ashrei and the half Kaddish. In the Western Ashkenazic tradition, there is similarly an overall format, but it begins with a Don Olam or Lecha Hashem Hatzadaka, and the half Kaddish follows the first set of the 13 attributes. Slihot are usually recited between midnight and dawn. Some recited at night after the Mari prayer, or in the morning before the Shacharit prayer, due to the convenience of synagogue attendance when a prayer is already taking place there. The most popular night of Slihot in the Ashkenazi tradition is the first night, when many women and girls as well as men and boys attend the late night service on Saturday night. In some communities, the Hazan wears a kittle and sings elaborate melodies. In some congregations, it is not unusual for a choir to participate in this first night service. In the Eastern Ashkenazic tradition, this night also has more slihot than any other night prior to Rosh Hashanah Eve. The other nights are more sparsely attended and those services are often led by a layperson, rather than a trained musician, and with melodies that are less elaborate than the first night. In addition to the slihot of the high holiday period, the recitation of Slihot on Yom Kippur itself is the centerpiece and most important part of the liturgy, recited in all of the prayers of the day. Beginning in the late 19th century, many communities in Eastern European stopped reciting Slihot except at Mariv and Nila. Western Ashkenazic communities, as well as a small number of Eastern Ashkenazic communities, maintain the recitation of Slihot in all of the prayers of Yom Kippur. Italian rite communities recite Slihot on Yom Kippur in all of the prayers except Misof. Sephardic communities also recite Slihot at all of the prayers of Yom Kippur, although they recite them after the Chazan's repetition rather than as a part of it. Categories of Slihot in the Ashkenazic tradition may include, on minor fast days. Some communities recite Slihot after the conclusion of the Shacharit Amida. The content of these prayers is related to the specific fast day. Western Ashkenazic communities, and a very few Eastern Ashkenazic communities, maintain the older practice to insert the recitation of the Slihot of minor fast days in the middle of the blessing for forgiveness in the repetition of the Shacharit Amida. Slihot are not recited in any community today on the major fast day of Tisha B'Av, although they were recited by the Geonim of Babylonia. In addition to high holidays and fast days, there were communities that recited Slihot on Hoshana Rabbah. Additionally, in the early modern period, there were Shemarim La Booker societies which recited Slihot on every day of the year that Takanon is recited. There are at least 13 printed rites for Slihot, the following eight are variations of the Western Ashkenazic rite, Frankfurt and its surroundings Alsace Italian. Ashkenazim Nuremberg and Fort Switzerland and Swabia Worms Cologne Flos the follow five are variations of the Eastern Ashkenazic rite, Poland Bohemia. 
Moravia and Hungary Lithuania and Samogitia Poznan and Grodna Old Synagogue in Prague among 21st century Ashkenazi Jewish communities, the Pauline and Lita variations are dominant, although Bohemia is the most common in England. Some associate Lita with Nosak Ashkenaz and Pauline with Nosak Sfart, likely because in early 20th century most Jews in Poland had adopted Nosak Sfart, whereas most Jews in Lithuania maintain Nosak Ashkenaz. However, the differences between Pauline and Lita Slihod have origin several hundred years before the advent of Nosak Sfart, and the Minhagim were geographic rather than ideological. Chabad recites Slihod according to Nosak Lita because they are from Lithuania, and there are Polish Minagdom who recite Slihod according to Nosak Pauline. The poems recited in the major variations, with their assigned numbers, are as follows. Thanks for watching.